This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the Bee Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to this show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the Bee Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to this show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. I am Danielle Neufer, an educator for over 20 years who went up against two bouts of serious teacher burnout before finally realizing that I needed to share what worked and what didn't with educators everywhere. This is when Teaching Well was born. At Teaching Well, I partner with schools who recognize that when teacher well-being is prioritized, true teaching and learning can happen. And there's nothing more integral to building this kind of school culture than finding ways to care for yourself in the midst of all the school day hustle and bustle. Building in these moments is what this show is all about and what I hope to bring to you each time I get the opportunity to speak with you here. So with that, let's begin. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Morning Motivation for Educators. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of remembering that it's all about self-care and it's not about being selfish. We're diving into the basics of mindfulness and exploring its profound impact on self-care. So with that, let's discover the practical ways to integrate mindfulness into our daily activities, both at home and in the classroom, and how that self-care is absolutely not selfish. In fact, it's integral to our ability to show up day in and day out with our students. So mindfulness is not just a buzzword. It's a practice that can transform how we navigate our teaching journey. Mindfulness is about being present and fully engaged in the current moment. Now I know what you might be thinking. Why do I want to be engaged in the current moment sometimes when I'm um, dealing with all the things that I'm dealing with as an educator? But what I'm here to tell you is that when we are absolutely present in our classrooms, we are more able to handle those situations which sometimes cause us to react. So how do we connect this mindfulness um, practice to self-care? How can we bring this to our everyday lives? It starts with simple practices like paying attention to our breath, being fully present during our routine tasks, which would be like driving or brushing our teeth or um, taking a walk and pausing to bring awareness to the present moment. Here's the thing about self-care. Those are all moments of self-care and they're not, they're not selfish, selfish. In fact, they're a foundational element for reducing stress and improving overall well-being. As educators, we so often prioritize others, but we must remember that taking care of ourselves is essential to being our best for our students. So what I'd like to offer you today is a way to bring some of the self-care to your day and couple that with a mindfulness practice. And the way that I'm going to invite you to do that is to just find a small space for you to take a few minutes for yourself throughout your day. It could be a place in your classroom. It could be a place in your home. And for me, to be quite honest, it was a place in my car. I would oftentimes take a few moments um, after work and I would meditate in my car. And this is something that I did for years. So it doesn't need to be some glamorous, large um, investment. It was a place for me to decompress and for a place for me to reflect. And it definitely was self-care, although it didn't look like it to the outside observer. So it could be a cozy corner, a, cal- a calming um, picture to look at, or just music that you consistently play in a certain space. That can be your mindful moment of self-care for your day. And if you can, share this with somebody else, or please feel free to message me, and I'd love to hear the way that you're bringing some mindful self-care to your everyday life. 
So thank you for joining me in this exploration of mindfulness and self-care. Remember, it's not selfish to take care of yourself. In fact, it's a powerful act of self-love that positively impacts everyone around you, meaning your students, your family, and your community. Until next time, educators, designate that mindful space and continue on the path of choosing, path of choosing serenity over stress. And in that way, that's how we practice our self-care. Stay mindful, stay caring, and have a wonderful day inside and outside of the classroom. If this morning's motivation resonated with you, I'd love to connect more. Check out teachingwell.life and the show notes to find out how we can partner together. Thanks for listening. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bepodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now. Thanks for listening. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bepodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now.